Kaboom! Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the AIB Show. This is Amit. And Dominic. And uh, it's been a minute. I think we took a couple weeks off, or at least a week off. Right? It's been a week. <laughs> Your timeline is always off, man. It's Two been weeks? several weeks. It's many weeks. All right. No, I don't know when you release these things, man. It's, there's so much stuff in the can, as they say. <laughs> and when things come out for the socials. Um, yes, we're back. And not going to lie to you, in the past few weeks, there's been a crazy amount of news slash topics to discuss. Very few of which are positive. But uh, I will just, I'll turn over to Dominic because I don't even know where, I'm literally looking at Twitter right now and frustration is seeping into me. So I don't know where to start in this area. Beyond just to say that um, The Last of Us, pretty solid show on HBO. I don't know if you're watching. It's another zombie show, but actually really good. I am, but there's been three episodes. Episode three, eh, a little slow, but... Uh, it was definitely a little slow compared to the rest. Yeah, yes. not zombies, whatever, right? And I'm, it's I'm getting, a sucker for post-apocalyptic shows, zombie, you know, I'm ready. But the zombie game... I mean, I'm really zombies. not ready, but I, I like to feel like I'm ready. Oh, you mean you're ready if it would actually, if it would have really happened, you're saying? Yeah. You're not ready for it. <laughs> the problem is... Right? The problem is it depends on the kind of zombies. Is it, is, it, is it the ones that run, or is it just the walking ones? Like, Hold up. But, I, I can live in a world with walking ones. You I'm running ones. Yeah, not, yeah, 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 bro, you can't kill a cockroach. You're gonna, what do you mean the zombie? <laughs> I know full well I'm not going to survive. Right? Yeah, I mean, I can't. I've got I, the I, gift of gab. You know, I can. Hold up. You're going to reason with the zombies? What do you mean, gift no, of gab? Like, what? <laughs> with humans. <laughs> I mean, what did you And again, you just have to be slower than the person next to you. You mean faster and, than the person next to you? I mean, flat, yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. See, that's and, what I mean. So I'm going to win, you're going to lose. And that, <laughs> if you're playing that game. Hold on, hold on. Have you ever beat me in a race ever in your life? Ever. Huh? Just yes or no. Nothing else besides yes or no. Have you ever beat me in a race? <laughs> I have yes not beat no? you in a race. No. Okay, exactly. Do it. Okay. You're getting eaten up. Have you ever done a race? <laughs> like an actual <laughs> race? <laughs> yes or no. Exactly. Between you and Gopal, zombies are set for life. You know, they just eat with eat you two for a long time. And Amit will not be anywhere. So but for real though, it's but it is a post apocalyptic show, but it's not it's tense. It's a it's an interesting show, but it's it's weird how this genre just still has me interested. Like I like I mean because I, I would always eat for a bad show like Did uh, you finish Walking Three Hundred on Netflix? I watched seven seasons, just back to back to back to back. Just binge it. Yeah, it's post-apocalyptic, way in the future. Yeah. I don't even know the show that is. I've never seen it. Or one hundred, the one hundred. Sorry, one hundred. Oh, uh, I know the show there, but also didn't finish it. Um, but did you ever finish Walking Dead? I did last week. So Are you bad. serious? I had to. You, was it? It was the, it? it was one of the best shows on TV, and it's just it, yeah, for like three so seasons or whatever, and then it just yeah, got. I, I couldn't. It. I literally couldn't. I've not seen it in years. And there's the other one, the other Walking Dead spinoff, which again, I think I watched one season. I was like, Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, then they went on a boat, and I was like, I'm good now. I don't even know what to do when you're on a boat. And that was it. I've seen none of this. But you've seen you. You kept watching these things. Yeah, I finished it. Are you still watching bad shows on network TV? Uh, yes, one. What? Uh, what's it called? The um. I don't know. The list, blacklist. You're still watching black. First of all, is still around. Yeah, it is. It got you moved serious? to Fridays and Saturdays and it's on yeah, Saturdays. Kind of yeah, and then back to Friday. Right. I don't even know where it is now. I didn't, I didn't know you could put a network show on a Saturday. Period. Oh, you know it's back. I just I saw don't. last night. I didn't even know. <laughs> Uh, dun, dun, is that dun, NYP? No, it's not NYP. Law and Order. That's a Law and Order, yeah. Yeah. Back, but it's never gone anywhere. That one's never gone anywhere. No, but no, I know no. What the, Law back. and Order, not SVU, Criminal oh. Intent. Oh, the original Law and Order. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know what's his face is back. What I mean, that's all I keep seeing. Chris, whatever his face is on Law and Order. So speaking of a, a Law and Order type case, before we get into some heavy shit, um, well, in Germany, did you hear about this doppelganger kill, killing? No, it I sounds heavy, but it's... <laughs> no, it's cool. Like, so this woman... Young, I think she was like 23, was having a family dispute. That's all it says, right? All the mm -hmm. articles, I read a bunch of articles on it. Mm -hmm. Decided she wanted to disappear. But to disappear, she decided she wanted to fake her death. Okay. To fake her death, she needed to find somebody dead like her to do that. She well, hunted, What do you mean dead like her? Well, to make her family think she was, oh, sorry, resembling her. To make her family think she died. A okay, so, okay, 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 okay. So she was already dead scoured resembler. the internet and specifically Instagram looking for people that look like her. Been hours looking for people. Yeah, found this person, lured her into the, you know, met them online, met her online, went with her boyfriend, lured her into the woods and killed her. 
stabbed her over 50 times, including um, disfiguring her face, so that when her parents saw the body, just assumed it was her. Until four days later, they did an autopsy and things weren't added up. And long story short, they got caught. That's how disgusting her and the boyfriend. That's how disgusting and disturbed these people are that they said, we're fighting with our family. We don't want to be a part of their family anymore. So rather than just stop talking to them, they wanted the family to not only think she was dead, but they also decided to (laughs) kill someone else for this purpose. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to digest this. This is just the, the level of insanity here is it's it's crazy. It's a psychopath, psychopathic behavior. The two of them, yes. I, I I I'm 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 without speech. That's just it's madness. Like all part of that is madness. I don't even understand how that's even like a re- like how would you even make that consideration? Like no part of that makes any sense to me. I mean, it's 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 kind of like I don't know. <laughs> Not the same, but did you see <laughs> um, police? I think it was maybe Michigan or somewhere, and here in Miami, that they decided to wrap police cars in Black History Month colors and theme. Okay, so first of all, it, I'm not seeing the correlation between the story A and the story no, just B. Crazy. Then, oh, just, <laughs> just oh, crazy. Just crazy. Like, it's like I black like, people saying we want reparations. We want, you know, no more police justice, brutality. Yeah. We we want justice. We don't want no. Um, <laughs> imprisonment you know yeah. we want equal housing and you go here's um, a car oh, don't worry we're, we're, okay we hear you we hear you but here's what we're going to do we're going to custom wrap a ford explorer for a month hold is it just for we, the month by the way of course it says black history month yeah. but i mean i thought it was like <laughs> and mayor mayor what's his name Suarez, uh, like Corbett, yeah Ponzi Postalito. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Gordon, yeah. Debuted it and like pulled off like you you take off the wrap like da da. It, it was, was pretty insane. stupid. Insane. It was pretty stupid when I saw. And then it I saw another one, maybe Michigan. I don't remember where. Where it has like an image of like MLK on it and some other historical black leaders to celebrate. It's like no, no, no. This is not what black people want. This is idiotic, and I'm not one for just firing people. But I think anybody involved should be fired. Anybody who approved it and who thought of it, fire them right away. You know why? You got to have some piece of intelligence, modicum of intelligence to be in a position of, you should. No, you don't. In, in politics say, or policing, you should. We've, we've established that you don't. We've established that you need, you don't need any qualifications or even general mental stability to be in any of these positions. We've established all together. And we've established that people will vote for people in these in these places and positions independent of that. So these things were un- unnecessary and not really dynamic. What are you laughing at? Are you still laughing? Well, Hold up, side note, you got your boys in the in the Super Bowl, dog. Yes. Or what? I'm sorry. Can you, actually, we're not big enough, so we can say it because um, you can't say the words apparently. But we're not big enough. Nobody's watching. Nobody's ever listening. Oh, to you this. can't say the word Super Bowl. You can't say it, bro. Like I, I thought you can't to. write it. No, like I mean, you listen to podcasts. Just, everybody says a big game on the big game. On, yeah, yeah they, they can't say it like you because it's like a a thing. But I mean, Super Bowl, I mean, Super, Bowl <laughs> Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Come on, AI, find us. <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> We're gonna get a fine that we definitely find us. Find yeah, yeah, whatever. I need something. <laughs> no, hold up. Yeah, but you got your boys finally in it again. Yes, the last Eagles. time you boys. So the last, time, the last time we were in this, we last time the Eagles played in the Super Bowl. We did it at Dominic's house. This that's not back. true. They won five years ago, bro. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the Patriots. that. Patriots, Philly special. Forgot about that. Okay, so prior yeah. to that was at Dominic's house. Dominic, when Dominic lived in Kendall, and Dominic decided to do this, this soiree at his house because the Eagles were in it. This is when Terrell Owens was on the team. And Dominic went out and bought the newest, bestest flat screen TV you could buy at the time. Which was no, it wasn't, it wasn't a flat. You know what it was? It was the it was it literally was the best TV out there. Yeah, it was sixty something inch, but it was huge. Like it was on wheels. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> just that alone. Imagine that TV on wheels. It was I it mean, was silver too. They didn't have any. It just hit Best Buy. It just <laughs> it was like I think it was like twenty five hundred dollars, which was is insane now. But it's right. No, it's insane. Period. It was um, insane then, and it was now. the biggest tv possible like you couldn't get bigger tvs just easily the, like that the, the tv just fit through the door yeah like, i mean like by just fit through the door like a third of centimeters. an inch yeah <laughs> yeah get this in the house and i want to say no joke i want to say like two months later 
true flat panel TVs came out and this yes, guy had bought yeah, this I, giant was really, thing. I was really vexed. It was like a year and something later. Bro, it was even a year. It was not a year, dog. But it was like, yeah. it was like, now he's like, oh, I got the bestest thing in the world. And no, like, two months later, I was like, hold up. Everybody else has a flat panel yeah. TV on their wall now. Yeah. And his, how long you had that TV? I had it for years. <laughs> that TV, I mean, to, like, you couldn't move. You would definitely need movers because of that TV. Just that alone, just to go from A to B. Because that TV was. I gave huge. it to my sister. I'm trying to even think how I gave it to her. It's crazy. That's one of those I'm giving it to you, but so you're on your own. You got to figure out how to pick it up and how to get yeah, it. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It's like I am not selling it for the year. You get it out. I'll pay you to get it out. <laughs> Bro, it's in madness. All right, go ahead, man. Give one me more light thing before I get into heavy stuff. Do you remember my Super Bowl party? Um, so I used to have an annual Super Bowl party, and one year. You know, Super Bowl's on a Sunday. Let's say it was a Friday night. I think we went out, uh, local party somewhere near UM, and people started saying, hey, heard about your party, you know, thinking of coming, and I, I was, no, no, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. You don't remember this story? I'm, I'm scowling. That's why he's looking at yeah, my yeah. people who are listening. Yeah. I'm, I'm making a no, face. No, no, like, no, what? no, because, it, and I was like, I don't know, got a lot of people coming this year. I, I, I don't think so. You know, I, it, I can't fit everybody. Saturday night, the same thing. Can't fit everybody. And I, I, I sent out an invite. <laughs> this is how, I literally sent out an email uh, invite by invite, invite back then, right? With, no, no, no. A word doc <laughs> with my picture, dressed up, posing, just standing there. <laughs> I, I got to find this thing. Just like standing, full body length, looking at the camera, not smiling, just staring at it. Like come to Nader's like six annual Super Bowl parties, <laughs> right? Right. Well, then I think it was like the third, whatever it was. Uh -huh. And I said, there'll be three TVs for your viewing experience. I bought a little TV to put in the kitchen. I remember. Right? I brought my TV from upstairs in my room to put outside on the on the, the patio. So there'll be like multiple, you know, things. And back then to sync up, <laughs> it's good. to sync up sound and audio, I mean, and video, like it wasn't that easy. So different uh, direct TV boxes and it was a little annoying, but I had to do it. So I, I remember telling people, no. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I turned down so many people from coming. A total, <laughs> total of nine people came. Not at once. There was never more than seven people at once. <laughs> you know, people come and leave. <laughs> people walked in and was like, the yo. Biggest flop me? <laughs> ever. And I remember thinking, you know what? Never will I turn down people again. Never. I never, mean, never, have, never, you, have you had a Super Party since? Uh, yeah, I had more after that. But since yeah, I'm really no. No. yeah, I mean, once you, yeah, once you started cohabitating, in fact, for this one, one. been invited to, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna stay on my couch because the Eagles are playing. So you're not gonna go, no. to Jays or whatever. I assume no. that's where you're gonna go. No. Yeah, I and I idea. hear, I hear my wife in the background saying, "Uh, I don't know about that." Well, <laughs> I do. So you're gonna sit on the couch by yourself and watch the game? Yep. That seems horribly boring. And obviously, I'm and that sounds games. perfect. I was rooting against the Eagles because of you. You realize that because yeah, it's always, sucks. it's always, no, hold on. I did it. I, <laughs> I, 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 just because you're so invested, I have to go the other way because it's fun for me. Yeah. yeah. That's the game. So let's, 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 let's easily transition or subtly transition. <laughs> I don't know if it's easily. Stuff. That's but... it, subtly, subtly. I'm do my best. All right. Let's it. slowly. So we'll, okay. we'll slowly transition. So, the first thing, here. DeSantis, or go on. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to go a lot more subtle than that. I was going to go with Alec Baldwin's dynamic. Because we're going entertainment and okay, okay. All right, go ahead. Are you familiar with this situation? Yeah. Yeah, but talk about it because I so, still don't get why he's charged, but go on. Well, so that's the dynamic. But here's the scenario, right? So Alec Baldwin inadvertently shot, which sounds like a crazy thing to say, um, a person and killed a person on set of a film. He was handed a gun, um, pointed said gun, rehearsing a shot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the gun was, in fact, the gun had a projectile and it shot somebody. It injured one person and killed somebody else. Right now, so when the police now, generally speaking, again, if you're on a film set, there is an armorer, and the armorer's job is to make sure the gun they're handing you is clean, i.e., has nothing in it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Check the chamber, check everything like that, and you whether you're using blanks or otherwise, just to make sure that nobody can be hurt, right? On set, and you see films like John Wick or whatever else, guns for days. You see all these films just have crazy amounts of guns, and so it's a very, very particular job, obviously, right? You got to take it seriously. So, the project they're working on was, um. He was a producer in the project as well, if I'm not mistaken. But also, it was you know, it wasn't a, a massive budget film, et cetera, et cetera. So, the person who's doing the job wasn't necessarily the most qualified, um, and there was a little 
the rules around it were a little lax, right? Because normally they'll check it before they hand it to you, then you give it back to you between shots, give it back to you again. Like you're not really, as the talent, you're not really managing the process. So neither was he. And he friendly shot somebody. Cops came. He went, and here's, this is the reason why I'm bringing this up. He's not being charged, right? As is the armor. But he's being charged. One of the reasons he's being charged, um, and legal people can chime in here, because he talked to the cops, Sand's lawyer, he felt that he was in a good situation. So they were, they, he did, he sat down with them and told them everything from start to finish. Oh, no. Which, so when you say be, that's why he's being so charged, they used because, a lot of that against him. Okay, right, right, right. It doesn't mean point. legally that's why. No, it no, no. They use because once he started against. talking, he just, they kept going, kept going, kept going. So my point being is, had he had a lawyer present, had he just waited and spoken to a lawyer or whatever else, he may not be in this situation right now. And that's the crazy part that I'm bringing up here. The fact that because he chose to speak with legal, with, with, with the police about the scenario and about his involvement or his unknowing, his whatever else, which being honest, for lack of a better word, he's, he's not been being punished just for being transparent. That's my point. So my point what is, what is he charged with? I don't understand how if he's handed a gun. That's my point. So I don't get it. We'll find out more as things come out. But the bigger question is, when they, why would you ever talk to the police? And I don't mean I'm not saying like in hindsight to him. I'm saying going forward, why would anybody ever, 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 ever talk to the police? There is zero value in it for you. Zero. zero. But how crazy is that? The people who are supposed to be protecting us, there is zero value. Zero. It, probably negative value in talking to the police. There is no upside. None. The only upside in ever talking to the police, if you're talking to the police at a, at, like if you're getting a ticket and you're trying to talk your way out of it. Other than that, you say nothing about nothing. There is no value in it. There literally is nothing. How crazy is that though? But it's the same thing though. How how many people don't understand you don't have to consent to police come into your house or search in your car or anything like that. It's, it's just, but how crazy I, I tell you the story. That? My cousin's in prison because, I mean, my nephew's in prison because he did that. They came to the door and said, we heard this. Can we come? Okay. Oh, what's in your safe? You need, we need you to open the safe. Okay. We need you to. So that looks like he gave him permission. Bro, it's, it bothers me so much that you're, 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 you're trying, and I'm not saying Alec Baldwin's situation. I'm saying in general, if you're trying to be an upsetting citizen or whatever and kind of tell your part and be of assistance, it'll come back and bite you. Like there's Bro. no value. My incident all started. I was explaining that our friend got beat up. That's so how it all started. Yeah, yeah, no, I do just had, shut break it down. Up. Yeah, had yeah. I not explained that, none of it would have happened. Never would have got my ass I mean, beat by none of it. I mean, they probably no, didn't no, like you. I wouldn't have anyway. got arrested. Nah, you look kind of you look kind of a dude that <laughs> you, you got a punchable face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, speaking but I'm of, real, like, how crazy is that though? Speaking uh -huh. of, I don't know if you need notice, I'm kind of disheveled right now. No, I did notice. I'm not gonna call you, you know, out online. That's rude, but yeah, okay. Well, you know, did a little fitness. Been a uh, consistent first week, fully back. When I say back, 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 and just you know, putting out. What there. is what is a little fitness? Out of curiosity, what does that mean? What did you do that was fitness related? Uh, that what, that didn't some wads and a lot of core stuff, and you know, five <sighs> days in a row. But okay, so like you're actually like fitnessing, no, no, like like, like dropping down on the floor, <laughs> like dripping, yeah. What 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 spawned this new thing? This is like this is this is. I mean, like, it's it's we're getting now, we're, we're I've been talking about this since we started the show. I know we're in the month of February. <laughs> like it's like oh, new body alert. Like normal people do it. Like you know, the start of the new year is. Like I know, it is, it's but February. it never lasts. No, I, I'm I'm an eating. Pro I don't eat. It's all the snacking and the, the junk. So it's been a week. We'll see. I'm determined. You know, all I gotta say is you're lucky. I'm lucky. I'm not single. Other people are lucky. I'm not single. I'm lucky you're not saying. Yeah, I just I'd be Mister Steal Your Girl, you know. I just yeah. walk around. <laughs> your wife is barely with you. you want to see else is <laughs> no, bring it. Just put it out there. Everybody's lucky. No, <laughs> hide your wives. <laughs> yeah, that's what they want. They want the guy to sit at home and watch the Eagles and sit there with, 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 with the receding hairline. And a guy's been at the gym five days in four years. <laughs> uh, is your knee working? Up, so is your body working beyond that? Yeah, knee's decent. Um, decent. Hip, hips good. Yeah, you know. Uh, so, no, yeah, coming along. <laughs> yeah. 
you know what kind of inspired me too is uh, when, you sold it, when you sold this out a few weeks ago and went out when to I dinner with you. uh lotion park um when i sold you out yeah was i in town yeah you're in town okay I, I i came down to miami okay continue why did i sell you out i mean your name is buff uh, <laughs> no, no, but, <laughs> wow. anyway the three of us sitting there i realized the three of us weren't exactly the uh poster child poster children for fitness <laughs> you know though Pac big Paco, up running yeah, a marathon last another marathon. Was looking when you look at him but he ran like his 13th marathon yeah this guy's running a big truckload up. of marathons yeah yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah yeah that was really what it is i'm sitting there they're making fun of me for ordering you know usually what do you think i ordered wings no i don't know where you were a little... It was a Caesar salad, but I don't yes. know where you were. Boom, Caesar salad, exactly. But where were you? Where'd you guys go for dinner? Some hole in the wall. It was named Hole in the Wall. Um, Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> in Kendall? Yeah. Wow. And I sat there. That's what when it clear. I was like, "Yo, this, this shit got to change." <laughs> Hold on. So you were like, "I'm gonna eat a Caesar salad with Paco and lotion." Looking at Paco and lotion, you're like, "I need to get in better shape." Like they yeah. were your catalyst. Yes. Yes. I was like, I'm, but it wasn't just them. It was me too. Like, not to diss them. It was me too. Look, at, you know, sitting there with the angle of the, sh the shirts on your belly, and like, it's just no, it's not. Good. <laughs> so Gopal's sitting on my couch right now, right? And Gopal's situation is like, yo, man, you know, what should I eat? Like every time he comes up, he's like, yo, you know, I'm gonna eat clean and whatever else. And I'm like, what's the point of doing this for two days to go back to Jamaica to do whatever? And he goes, man, I ain't got no time to cook and whatever and blah, blah, blah in Jamaica, you know, so I'm not, I don't have it like you. And I was like, hold up, He's hold up. Hold single hold up. guy. I was like, you're single guy with a helper in Jamaica who can legit cook for you all the time. I told him like, that for years. Meal prep yeah. and doing all kinds of things. Yeah, you don't have to meal prep. You have a and person. He, and he's actually right waking up early and like pseudo exercising every day. So, I mean, he, he, he takes pictures in the tennis court, but he takes pictures everywhere. It's a picture of like his tennis racket or his boxing glove. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just that, right? And then he goes right back in the car and goes home, right? Or he'll go have jerk chicken or whatever. And like, see, I'm eating clean, but it's it's comedic because it's a it's a one week solution. And I was like, there's no value here. And obviously, I'm not the. I mean, I I I cook. I don't meal prep, but I cook and stuff like that. But he's here, and it's like, oh, if only I could do this in Jamaica. Like <laughs> we made food, and they had like the frozen veggies, like frozen um like peppers or whatever, right? Because it's just it's easy to prepare. And he goes, man, if we had this in Jamaica, and I was like, what would you do in Jamaica with this? Absolutely nothing. It would still sit in your freezer the same way because you're not cooking. It wouldn't matter if you had all the apparatus and all the ingredients in the world. Like, do you cook? Hashtag eat better. I don't, but thankfully, uh, my better half does. So, all right. So, you're five days in. Good for you. Good yeah. For you. It's, have you had, and have this you time, physical? I actually believe it. Am I what? Have you had a physical in the past? God knows how many years? No. Funny thing is, I, I asked her this morning. Uh, or no, yesterday, to uh, set me up for one, and I never Just, do. Oh, I'm sorry, you asked your wife. I, I, did, I literally do this. Look at the action. Look for those watching and for the four of you watching on camera. I was like, "Just take care, take care." <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. I don't know how to transition to this. So let's just talk about it. Tyree Nichols. Go. I'm sure. It, Whoever's listening knows the story, um, but just in case somehow, I don't know if you've been traveling or out, um, or out. He, out of the loop, he's a young man in his 20s, was black man in Memphis, and was, I mean, to put it bluntly, killed by the police. Um, on January 7th, 8.30 at night, he was pulled over. Police claimed for... Um, suspicion of reckless driving. They, I don't know. Did you watch the video at all? Nope. I so know, this this was a weird video. one for me. I watched pieces and intentionally removed a lot of the audio. It it was it was rough. Even that, like, horrifically rough. Um. So they drag him out of the car, throw him on the floor, and it's a lot of conflicting screams at him like stop moving he's not moving get on the floor he is on the floor put your hands behind the back his hands are behind his back right and they're just so beyond aggressive with a guy who's saying i'm sorry what did i do what did i do like just a passive confused scared guy then they start um pepper spraying him right and he's scared out of so you know what do they always what did what did those people who always say just compliant listen always say like 
just be calm. Well, when you've got five officers doing this to you, fear is your number one emotion. How, how do you stay calm? We always cops freak out all the time. Did you see last week there was a um a double amputee in California was killed by police? Double amputee, so no legs. They shot and killed him because he had a knife, because he was threatening them with a knife. There's a video. He gets out of his wheelchair and runs on his stubs, runs away, then comes back with a knife. They shot and killed him. So don't talk to me about how citizens need to act rationally. Like If you can't stop a guy who's literally shorter than you, Puff, on his stubs, right? So four foot nothing with a knife. If you can't detain that guy, then you know what? Fuck off. Don't be a cop. You, I, that you're the kind of person I want to deport. Go, go to some, banish to some island. Because, again, you don't have the, the, the intelligence to be in a society that should be thriving. Um, so Tyree gets up and runs away, scared out of his life. He runs. He's running towards, it seems, his mom's house because the, the rest of the incident happened less than 100 yards from his mom's house. They find him. They tackle him. They go off on him, holding him up beating him like a piñata just thumping him and punting his i mean like vicious where if they're not holding him up he would drop to the floor so he's slumping they pick him back up and just line him up then he's on the floor doing the same thing kicking him kicking him and um eventually um Ambulance comes on the scene, but they don't treat him for like 20 something. I think it's like 27 minutes before they're, they're on the scene, but don't deal with him. He winds up going to the hospital unconscious. Three days later, he dies from these injuries. Um, that's January 10th. January 15th, the five officers were relieved of duty. January 18th, the federal investigation commenced. Uh, January 20th, the five officers were fired. January 23rd, the family viewed the video, right? January 26th, the officers were charged, several charges, including second-degree murder and kidnapping. And the kidnapping is because it was uh, unlawful detainment. They had no right to keep him like that. Um, January 27th, the video is released, and that's where we're at. Since then, other individuals involved have been fired. I don't think they've been charged yet. Uh, that's right. There's a progressive district attorney in Memphis, hence the experience with which experience is that it? Mm, you're right. Experience with which the charges happened. You know, you got people complaining, well, where's Black Lives Matter? It's because the cops are black. And no, here's the thing where's the riots? Justice is seemingly taking place like never before. There's, there's, there's uprising and riots and because justice doesn't happen these cops were charged um you know i've been saying for years too this is this is the same old racist police it doesn't matter black on black the um color disappears when you come the only color is blue right black cops are just as racist as white cops we've seen it with the Department of Justice's uh, scathing report on the Baltimore Police Department where, with black officers and how they treat black citizens just like the white officers do. Um, you know, these it, it all comes from the origins of police in this country. Slave, slave catching. That's how policing started. Literally, it evolved into this system which works exactly the way it's designed. I don't know, man. Just it's just it's just there to the degradation and criminalization of people of color and people without money. That's what it is. It's sad, it's scary. I, yeah. I wish I believed in hell. I, I really do. Because I would believe that they would burn for this. Um yeah. That's it. So it's and the reason I didn't watch the video is because, and the reason I've watched actually majority of these videos, I get it. Um, it's like murder I'm, porn. I'm right? good. Yeah, literally, yeah. it's exactly that, right? I don't need to see somebody hurt. No, this way. you don't. I'm good. I know I, the end I, result. And anytime anyone says that, I, I completely respect. I understand it. Absolutely. 
So I've never seen any of these videos of any of these scenarios. Um, even the George Floyd, I think George I saw Floyd? seconds. I saw seconds and that was that's enough. Like I didn't need to see seven no, plus you don't. minutes you, of you, whatever. Like I'm absolutely. good. I get the scenario. And it's 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 the power dynamic, right? There's a rule, there's a general phrase of if you get somebody I'm it's one hundred percent. You give somebody power and you see who they really are kind of dynamic, right? If you um, it's like if they have power and wealth, you see who they really are and the and or wealth. Um, and these are who these people are, obviously, right? You gave them power for somebody else, and this is what they did with the power. Um, and it's disheartening. Um, but to your point, I also I also right. Okay, so there is there is the claim of what if these what if these officers were white? Right. And if they were white, would they have actually been fired and charged this quickly? Because in literally every other scenario, and that's not even, there's no hyperbole there. I think it's literally 100% of the scenarios. There has been the union involved and it's like, we will review this and get back to you kind of dynamic as opposed to the quick, efficient firing this case and charging right within days as Dominic mentioned. So normally this stuff takes if ever, but it goes through the union, everybody gets involved and whatever, whatever in this case, not so much. In this case, it's been very quick. Like these people are all borderline disposable, if you want to call it that, right? And I'm not saying it's race related, but I'm saying it's just the, the fact. Yeah, right? here's here's the here's the here's the interesting part though. This video is like oof. No, but it, there's been videos of people shooting people in the back all the time. Yeah, also away. it 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 hits different. It hits right. I've I, it trust me. Down this good. one is one right. it, it from it's like when Ray Rice and then if you were told Ray Rice beat his 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 um fiance in an elevator, then you see the video, it hits different. This was savage and ongoing. It, the shooting in the back, that's just horrible. This person again should burn in hell, right? This is ongoing where they're screaming, where they're yelling at torturing somebody. It hits different. Plus, again, progressive DA. If you Google, I don't remember the individual's name. There was all kind of backlash when he was running to be the district attorney mm -hmm. um, because of his progressive nature and police reform and all that stuff. So this is in line with what his platform was. Got it. I believe also the um, police chief is black. Um, who fired? Like it's listen. If I, this is not again because it's not color. Again, the they they're blue. They're not black or white, right? Um, we got a progressive DA, and I think with the other progressive DAs, we'd have the same kind of situation. All right. Um, tangent, actually not tangent. I'll see, well, you, you should go down this path. You mentioned Ray Rice. So the Ray Rice situation became the Ray Rice situation because we saw the video. And then I'll take a step back and say, do you watch you watch Rick and Morty? Yes, of course. And you, of course, like it's a force. The, exactly, it's amazing. I'm, I have, I'm behind on this season, though. It's it's absolutely amazing. Did you hear about the creator, um, Justin Justin Roiland, who will no longer be with the show? No. So there's a domestic abuse dynamic that came out, and so Comedy uh, Comedy Central, i.e. Adult Swim, dropped him from the show. The show's still going on. It's got th I think three more years, um, but he will no longer be on the show as a creator, as a voice, etc. Moving forward. Now I bring this up because I'm amazed by the swift nature with which that that happened because I've seen forever that the domestic abuse dynamics are people, people are, people are only, people are, are as expendable as, um, as their popularity allows or their fame allows. Right. Cause if you are, if you are Uber famous and whatever else and Uber vital, there's a way around it. And if you're not, you get canned, right? And then they use that as they, meaning whoever, whoever the person uh, doing the canning, uses that as a, um, as a, as, as a pin on their lapel to say, "Look, I'm doing good work." And I find this one interesting because this one is the first one that I've seen where an actual creator slash voice of a popular project gets dropped. Because now it's easier to drop a voice actor than it is obviously, you know, the uh, an actor actor. But that was it. Um, it just caught me off guard. I was like, this is something that I couldn't fathom. And it happened uber quickly and it just dropped him and said, all right, he's only on the show. We'll get a new voice moving forward. And I don't think I've ever seen that before. So it just caught me as something that was so foreign to me because I've never seen something like this happen 
based it's on a new it. day. Is it a modern? Is it a modern domestic abuse case? The reason I ask is because you see that the, the oh, no, US soccer recent. coach. You mean recent? Yeah, yeah. Yes. The US modern, soccer coach like... went from like thirty odd years ago has put him under hot water, and the only reason they found out about it is because the mother of a player and the father happens to be one of the coach's best friends. The mother. I'd say snitched, told because she was upset that the player didn't play much in the World Cup. So then said, you know what? I'm going to tell on you about what you did to your wife in college 30 years ago and something they've, I guess, acknowledged happened back then already. So now he's been relieved of duties and suspended temporarily. Yeah, just it was weird. All right. A couple of things that are stupid to me. Wait, wait, one more thing. Okay. Back to Tyree. Um, I'm reading comments on social media, and it's like you can easy, you can often tell the trolling comments versus the um, general comments from like, "Are you serious?" And I've seen a lot of, "Yes, this sucks." Yeah, it sucks. It's an yes, this sucks. But if only he had complied, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> it's like, I mean. <laughs> I, I like people like that. I just don't know. I don't know what to say to them because that's always their default. Yes, it sucks, but no, that's it. Yes, it sucks. There's no but. It's yes, it sucks. There's no but. But it's okay. But but it's people who are in the situation. It's people from the outside looking in. It's people who can make these claims who've never been uh, in a precarious scenario like that where they don't know how they would actually react. It's people who do all these things. It's always money when a quarterback. True, but even if so, no, even people, if so, these, it doesn't justify. So why you. is that your no no? Why is that their thought process? Because the thought there, process is even to even go there. Okay, but here's here's my but it's mind. not it's never it's never it's never you know what? If the police hadn't been crazy, right? It's never that. If the police hadn't done that, person wouldn't be dead. Person wouldn't be hurt. Person wouldn't be ar arrested. Um, but that's because people have reason. people have people are. It's never that. It's no, never because that. people are people have these preconceived um, notions. The police are perfect, and this is the problem. But it's not even I, notions. I always say this. I always say this. In my opinion, it's the hardest job in America. It's also the the job where there can be zero transgressions. Zero can be nothing. Nothing wrong can happen. You make one mistake. In my opinion, you're gone. That's it. But it's Nothing, not that because it's, it's the fact it the they're holding the fabric of society like everything is based upon this. They have to be just. They do. It's like it's as if they they need to be Superman. But okay, and instead they're the worst <laughs> but, as a group. They're the biggest domestic terrorists in this country. But what happens for hundreds is, of years? True, but what happens is we all so people's general outrage or lack thereof. Is predicated on people's preconceived notions of, or sorry, on where they get, how do I say this, on, on where their alignment lies in society across the board. And I mean that for everything. I mean, the dumb thing about um, uh, the, the, the Xbox. So you hear about this, right? Mm -hmm. The Xbox, okay. So generally speaking, the Xbox has, a, uh, has got a power save mode. So it'll power save and shut down to save power. And because of that, it's being dubbed as the woke box by Fox News and others. I'm sorry, what? You're saving me electricity and that's woke? I don't understand the dynamic. Like, how? What? Because there's, because there's a dynamic of saving, quote unquote, anything. It is woke. The stupidity there is, and people are up in arms, which only, you know, further supports my claim of, not claim, obviously fact, of the stupidity associated with where you align. And where you align is how you make your decision. So your decision is made for you before you make a decision, right? Based on your alignment. The fact that you can do this, the fact that the fact that the whole M and M dynamic became an M and M dynamic, right? Because it, the woke M and Ms because they because they were going to have female M and Ms. God forbid. They're caricatures. They're literal caricatures. Like it really affects my taste or enjoyment of M and Ms. I've done for years. Like but what the it, F? It's those same people it's who the stupidity who, who, who clown the snowflakes who are acting like the biggest snowflake. It's the dumbest thing in it, the, the same, world. The Disney like, ride, Splash Mountain. The that backlash, one I don't know about. So, Sorry. So Splash, one, yeah, in like, Splash Mountain was closed. Uh, I think a couple weeks ago was the last time. It's been around for decades because of, um, based on a 1946 Disney film 
called Song of the South, which was pulled from distribution for racist stereotypes and romanticizing slavery. So it was always weird. Even my daughter noticed it. Like I always found it weird. Just there was a hanging in it, but it was like of animals. But I, I've noticed that forever. Like like a, like a lynching, right? And I've always found it weird. But in the that, song, or there's in the ride. No, sorry, on the ride, on the ride, right? I did not even know this. Um, but that's basically they're changing it. They're putting a black princess Tiana in there. Um, the ride. If you look at the comments, I've read so many comments about the people complaining about this. Well, and yeah, because hold on. You put a black princess. What did you want? No, most of those people don't even realize there's a black princess going there. Oh my God, wait till that <laughs> comes out then. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I just don't understand how the word saving could be a crime, like to be something where's just backlash. Like how, if, if you're saving anything, like if you're saving me money, how is that a negative? I'm very confused by this dynamic. How is that woke? If there's a power save mode and we don't need to burn energy and waste power, then why is that quote unquote woke? The stupidity, I, I'm completely at a loss. I don't understand it. Like, it makes no sense, right? Like, nobody's coming for your Xbox. Nobody's coming for your whatever. And the stove dynamic. Like, you're just finding things to be upset about. You heard about the gas stove dynamic, yeah? Yes. Okay, and, and, and the backlash. Literally, government, like, a congressman, I believe it was, goes, if they, they, can, they, they can pry my stove away, like, with, with, you know, out of my cold, dead hands kind of dynamic. And I was like, bro. <laughs> Nobody's taking your stove, guy. Just friggin' take take a breath, relax, slow your roll. Like there's no logic here at all. It's just something to be upset about, to be upset because somebody else did it, right? So my point is, it's on both sides, right? Meaning, you're upset because somebody else did this one thing. If they do anything, you're gonna be upset, good, bad, or otherwise. And with the police dynamic, and people who support that, whatever they do is gonna get the no, no, no. But it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. They won't see the other side. They want, which which would be interesting. We're working on having a, a interview or more of a maybe a debate. I don't know how it's going to go with that police charity. By we, Dominic is because he's actually helping this. Because I mean, I'll be part of the conversation. But how's that going? Are we actually going to have somebody on? Are we gonna reach out because we went into a little back and forth. There was a video in here in South Florida of at a high school police officer just literally choking and slamming a kid down. And oh, that's right. They they. They went with the whole the charity posted with the well, you don't see everything. Um, and he should have just, you know, the whole should have just listened kind of a thing. And it's like, yo. Uh, but I told him I'd like to uh discuss. We shall see. Yeah, yeah. I'm at a loss. I mean, here, um, here here's here's the fix. You know how to fix this country? Fix the police. That's it. I mean, I wouldn't say that's it, but that's a good start. I mean, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just, no, you fix it. You know why? Incarceration rates go down. Oh, crime goes down. Oh, more spending. People have jobs. It, it just, just, it just exponentially better. Yeah, better, yeah. Trust. I, I just said it wouldn't be fixed. It'd be, it'd be a good start. Incarceration rates. You see two former judges in Pennsylvania who sent kids to jail for kickbacks? I forgot about this story. This is years ago. So they were, they were judges who were literally sentencing kids for kickbacks. And it got so cruel that they wouldn't even give them probation. They wouldn't even let them hug their family, just send them to jail for kickbacks. I mean, you're, you're, they, they just lost a civil suit over $200 million. And what? Is that going to get paid? No, but they've been in prison. One of them was, is still in prison. One is in prison for 27 years, and another one got let out because of COVID bullshit. Um, was that with the judge? The judge, yeah. Oh, all right. But they won't. No, they're never gonna get two hundred million. But guess what? Unless they pull an OJ and move to Florida, um, you know, they're going to have a lot of their income, whatever income they have for the rest of their life, um, a lot of that taken away. But they were. It's mind-boggling. Everybody involved was was sentenced. These these people were building prisons and then paying these paying the judges to sentence the kids for these for-profit prisons. And that's the problem. How do we allow for-profit prisons in this country? Bro, everything we do is for-profit. This whole country is- For-profit. For yes, that's everything. Prison system. The worst prison system in the world. 
I mean, have you been to Jamaica? If I'm going to go and say that's probably a little worse. No, the worst. You know why? You've been to Guantanamo? It's got to be over incarceration. And that, okay, worse. in that situation. In that situation, yeah. Complete side note on a lighter note. We'll take it up a notch. Have you seen this whole this whole chat GBT, GPT business? Have, have you know dabbled in this? About. Are you serious? Yeah. It's AI. Where you can literally tell it stuff and it'll create stuff. And oh, I've seen that. I've seen, I've, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I've seen. You right, like right. what, what what Puerto Rico looked like if it wasn't colonized. What Africa looked like if it wasn't colonized. That's something. I didn't know if uh, it was real. No, I was going to say things of like, hey, write me a story. Oh, about <laughs> and wow, okay, this took a different turn. Of course, okay. I took it that way. Yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> I'm trying to bring some levity to this conversation, and this guy just goes back. Wow. Good lord, son. No, I was. Oh my god, it took a turn. I was literally referring to the fact the that the white devil never can <laughs> This guy, no, wow, <laughs> no, this is like you can do. Um, it, it can literally write your kids' term paper. It would just you would sit there and go, "Hey, write me a story about a the bird, like a, about a, about a duck and a whatever, and they're living happily ever." And write me a fairy tale, and they'll write you a fairy tale. Like it's rid- and in like proper English and whatever, whatever. It's still they've they've got a bunch of hiccups with it, but it's going down this path. The point being, you can download this and do whatever you want. Like it, it's it like yeah, I mean, go to the site, whatever. Microsoft's including it, like in Bing and stuff like that. It is insane how crazy this stuff is, and this is like step one in whatever is going to come next, kind of thing. Like it's madness. Oh, I don't like that robot. You saw that robot that can help build things. Did you see that? I have a construction that. site. No, uh, straight like Terminator. A, I'm not. You, I'm, you don't I'm, like a building robot. No, no, we're done. It, we're, we're, it, it's over. Game over. Find another planet. We, we gotta you, go. You don't like a building robot. No, no, this robot literally picking up tools, climbing up the rail, throwing the the hammers up the guy, like fully doing everything on its own. I'm like, no, 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 no. Where I've seen this, this before, That's buddy. Awesome. Where is this? I've seen this. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> you? You really haven't seen it. Kind of like does a little dance and a backflip and hops along. And you really never saw this? No. Oh man! I'll send you it want to you. Dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is not good news. Mm-mm. But it's gonna Mm-mm. go this yeah. way. Remember? You remember? This is how we get to that post-apocalyptic. But this is how world. it goes this way. What's up? This is this. I mean, this with between with 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 chat with with AI with whatever else is happening. This is how things will go. This is where your 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 yeah. your your Netflix or Amazon's or whatever. That's step one. We're going there. I mean, what are you gonna do? Hold up. How how much longer do you think you're gonna be driving your car or driving a car? Like, what year do you think you, your cars will just be drive? You'd be driven versus driving. I've always wanted an older car. I don't know the, I, that didn't even answer my question. But okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I, I think we're having two different conversations here. I think I'm saying something. So maybe just, I'll get an older car and it won't drive for me. Whatever you want to say. Like, it, are you just listening? It, you it won't drive hard? for me. Do you just want to break in whenever I'm talking to so just say something that you have in your mind independent of whatever question I'm asking you? Like, you were not. <laughs> I love lamp. <laughs> this guy, on that note, I do got a cut. I got another meeting. Um, but we will be doing this more. Be better justice over order. Friday freestyle is coming back. Um, oh, I didn't know that till now. Okay. Yes. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. we'll have some interviews. We'll be more we'll consistent. Be for a while. Spread the word. No, we're back. Like vertebrae, Mr. Steely Girl. Eat better. You, justice I'm over. Okay. <laughs> let's 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 take bets on whether or not. Oh, oh, let's... real quick. Sad news for the jokes, but happy news uh, for a friend. Uh, this guy's this guy meaning. My co-host is no longer on the market. He's got a lovely young lady. Quite frankly, I'm not sh- sure why she's with him. She- and uh, yeah. Because one guy goes <laughs> to the gym and one guy doesn't. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody. Have a good one. Cool. We'll talk soon. If I can end this broadcast, that is. Hold on. Now we'll talk soon.